There's been a lot about royals recently, hasn't there? Phil the Greek crashes the Land Rover freeloader, I should say freelander, sorry, into a woman, a passenger and a nine-month-old baby. Look, I've done a video on that already. But I want to go a little bit more into, well, obviously we know the royals are used as a fantastic distraction by the Conservatives. They're also, of course, used in this kind of land of hope and glory, make Britain great again context. They're also great for generating, well, just really worthless news and stupid stories that people can just read about and be transported into a land of fairy tale princes and princesses and fairy tale castles and happy endings and wicked stepmothers. Whereas, in fact, while Queenie gets paid billions of public money to have Buck House updated, people starve and freeze on the streets of London. By the way, listen to Ralph McTell's song that's got back into the charts again called Streets of London. Listen to that. You can download it and uh, I think the funds go to something like Shelter or whatever. I'm not sure. But let's just talk for a brief moment about these royals. Why are they so important? I've given a few reasons but take their blood. They call them, don't they? Blue bloods, as if something is a different colour in there. Yeah, I don't know about you, but when I put my sleeve up to get my blood taken out, as they do fairly regularly, well, while we still got the NHS, I suppose after the NHS, I'll have to just attach a pipe and do it myself. But while when I see my blood coming out, I don't know about you, but generally it's kind of a dark red. Yeah, it's just red, isn't it? Yeah? So why? Has Phil the Greek got such special blood that he lives till 97, he hasn't done a day's work in his life, and his DNA, the, the, the fruit of his loins, the, the progeny of his testicles, is suddenly so important that it gets to live in um, massive houses. Huge estates like Sandringham goes to the best schools, has the best medical care, has protection squads, has officers employed by the police to look after them. Why are they so important that all this money is spent on them that could be spent on our health service, our police service, fire service, ambulance service, producing homes fit for human habitation, building social housing. But no, we don't build social housing. Well, we build TOF, penthouse housing, according to the Tories. Yeah. But why? Why are we obsessed with them? Absolute bloody obsession. People dress in Union Jack coats. They sing the national anthem. Why the obsession with these people when ordinary people are going to food banks? Nurses are having to go to food banks. Operations are being cancelled. As um, Chucky Mark said, Granny's sitting in her piss for about 16 hours a day because she only gets a 10-minute care visit on the state. But probably Granny is there still thinking of the Queen, God bless her. Why? Why are you doing this? Why? Why are these people so important and yet they wouldn't wee on you if you were on fire? 
No wonder the damn country keeps voting Tory. Because in a sense, it's almost like when you put your little cross in that Tory box, you get the stamp of royal assent. You're voting Tory by royal approval. Because Her Majesty the Queen, God bless her, if she could vote, she'd vote Tory. Prince Philip, God bless him too, he'd put his little cross in that little Tory box, wouldn't he? And you all want to be like him. It's a fantasy! And it's costing not just money, it's costing lives of ordinary people.